Hello everyone, it's Alex. Thank you guys so much for tuning in today. So today I have a fun video. I have seen quite a few individuals do their favorite or their top spring eyeshadow palettes and I thought that was a, such a fun idea. I haven't done that in a while. I have done some in the past, but I haven't done some recently. And since it is singles month of April on my channel, I figured instead of doing my spring eyeshadow palettes, why not do my spring single eyeshadows? So that's what I have for you guys today. I have a ton of single eyeshadows. I could be going on for hours sharing with you guys some eyeshadows, but these are the ones that kind of scream spring to me. As soon as I open up my palettes or I went through my pigments, these are the ones that stuck out to me that I would use during the springtime, that I have loved during the springtime, that I would recommend during the springtime transitioning into summer. So I do have quite a few here to share with you guys. But first, if you're new to my channel, welcome to the familia. My name is Alejandra. I'm an eyeshadow enthusiast with a dash of product Japan. If that is something that interests you, subscribe, join us. And now without further ado, let's go on with the singles. If you're wondering about my crazy look today, head on over to yesterday's video. I'll link it up in the iCards. It is what I had to do, but uh, we're here. We're here for it and we're good. So now let's start out with the actual singles that I have that are not in magnetic palette. The first one I want to share with you guys is Fireball by Urban Decay. Do you guys remember this? Yeah, this is a duochrome type of shadow and this always reminds me of summer or of spring into summer. This is just such a pretty shade. It's not so much in your face like what's on my eyeballs, but it is gorgeous. And if I were to put this on top of this one, like this shade that I have on my eyes is like a hundred times more potent than this one. This is more of the subtle spring sister. See how pretty that is? This is definitely one of my favorite spring ones. I am pretty sure most of us has something that's a pinky, orangey, shifting shade in our collection, but this is something that I really like. I don't reach for it often, but I'm so happy I have it because it is such a pretty shade. Now this one is newer to my collection. This was gifted to me during the summertime, or I mean during Christmas. <laughs> my mind's everywhere. Can you tell I'm dying for this warm weather to come? This is Frosé by Tarte. This is a pressed pigment and here it is right here. I'm not trying to flick you guys. It's just easier to do with my middle finger, but this one is more gold tone than Fireball. It's very, very similar, but it's it's more gold tone. Has you could tell that this has more of an orangey shift and this has more of a yellowy shift. Both of these are gorgeous on the eyes. Can you guys see that? Oh my lord, have mercy. These spring these scream spring. I am getting so tongue-tied today. These are just gorgeous for the springtime. I love these all over the lid with something in the crease, and you're good to go. Oh, these two are amazing. If you have anything similar like that, pull those sucker out. Now, two pigments that I want to share with you guys that are just oh summer i mean spring stop with the summer i'm uh, i'm all over the place this one is an oldie but a goodie i'll give you guys one shot to guess which one this is because i'm pretty sure most of you guys remember and if you don't remember or don't have it you know you had somebody you followed somewhere here on this platform that loves this one this is mac melon uh yeah that is gorgeous. And you can manipulate this pigment with a cream shadow under it. If you put like a peachy one under here or a gold one, you can kind of shift it. It is so, so pretty. I really, really like this one. This one is more of an orangey gold type of shifting one. It's so, so pretty. It is a classic for a reason and it is perfect for the springtime. I love this one. So this is a pigment that I like to pull out. I like to put an orange in the crease and put this all over my lid. It's gorgeous. Another one that is new to me. This is by the Zodiac. Oh no, no. This is from the Zodiac collection from uh, Kathleen Lights. I'm not sure if these are still available or not. This is more of a darker shade, but it is stunning. It's so pretty. If you're starting to get into those bronzy shades and you really want something or you have a deeper skin tone, this is perfect for the springtime for you. I wanted to have some variety for those that have different undertones. This is so beautiful. Look at that. That is gorgeous for the springtime. It, you can transition this into the summer. It has gold, but bronze, but it's not so deep or red in your face where you can't can't really use this. Let me close this up before I, I I'm gonna spill this everywhere. But this one's in called the Twins. I wouldn't be surprised if this is Gemini. 
<laughs> shocker that I like it. If you look up close, you could see the dimension of this actual pigment. It's so pretty. It's very hard to catch in a swatch, but you can really see the beauty in this one. It's so pretty. I love this one. Oh my lord! I need to get it together. All right, so let's move on to the pressed eyeshadows that I have, the single ones. I have a good eight here for you guys, so I will try to not linger on these. The first one that I want to share with you guys is from Sugar Pill. This is Suburbia. Look how pretty that is. That is a peachy beautifulness. You can actually grab an, a blush. If you have a blush, use it as an eyeshadow, you guys. A peachy blush, you don't need to buy anything new. This one has more pink than peachiness to it. Can you guys see? <gasps> but it's so pretty. This is so beautiful for spring. You can do this with a yellow, like a nice shimmery, put this all over the lid and then a nice shimmery yellow inner corner. Oh, yes. That reminds me of tulips. That's the first one I want to share with you guys. The next one that I have, let's go with the large ones. This is by JD Glow. And I don't know if they still have these or not because JD Glow tends to discontinue their things rather quickly. This one's called Peachy Keen. Here's another one. Look at that. That reminds me of Frosé, to be honest with you guys. Just that this one's a lot more shifting in gold than it is in pink. So if you like more of the gold shifting, I would recommend this one. If you like more of the pinky, go with the frosé. This is beautiful and you could see the dimension in these shadows. JD Glow has really, really good ones. The only problem is that they do discontinue things rather quickly. The other one that I have is called Plum. This is more of a, uh, it has glitter to it, but it's like that nice, beautiful lavender shade that we all like in the springtime. Isn't that pretty? Like all three of these put together will look beautiful. That all over the crease, this one's all over the lid and that in the inner corner. And there's your spring look. Isn't that pretty? Oh, I love these. It's just getting me in the mood of springtime. Even though I personally get allergies during the springtime, but I love the springtime because it's like all fresh, warm all these colors just remind me of it. it's just gorgeous let's move on this is sink by davina cosmetics this is that yellow green type of shifting shade here again this is a beautiful one all over the lid put a base under it to manipulate it or put this in the inner corner it's so so beautiful i love this shade another one that i love from her is martini martini goes so nice with saint if i want a green yellowish look isn't that pretty oh my gosh this is so so pretty i love this one too the next one i want to share with you guys we have dancer this is by looksy beauty now this was a holiday release this is another brand where they don't keep things often but it is a pretty one this is more of like this mint green blue it's so much softer on the eyes unless you build it up you guys can see that they're the blue and then it's lighter it's such a pretty shade now i do wear this one with more darker green kind of contrast it so i will wear it more with a greener shade but this is beautiful if you're very fair toned like porcelain that color will look stunning all over your lid now let's move on to a little bit darker this is called golden rose by sydney grace this gorgeous 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 look at that this is more of that it's not burgundy it's more of like a passion fruit type of shade it's not too deep but it's not too pink it's like right in between this will be beautiful if you have deeper skin tone if you like more pink on your eyes but don't want it to be more shifting or don't want it to be so bubble gummy i think that will look beautiful this one i absolutely love and i don't have much of the shades in my collection but i love this for inner corner or all over the lid this is lemonade by sydney grace look at that oh my goodness this is not matte this is all shimmer all of these are all shimmer they're except for one i shared one matte with you guys but a lot of these you can use on the crease and who's gonna tell you this is more of a uh satin almost foiled but not really you can really get away with this one using it in the crease if you want but this is a beautiful inner corner if you don't want something too much all over your eyes so there you guys have it those are my look at that isn't that pretty palette right there this is this is my spring palette that i pulled out a few of my singles all over the place and then these are the ones that are either our pigments or actual singles out of here so i gave you a nice variety for different undertones different depths of skin tones these are gorgeous shop your stash you guys wear some of your peachy blushes as 
some eyeshadows. Mix and match them. You guys, I'm pretty sure most of us has something like this in our collection. I know that there's a lot of spring palettes out there. I can actually share with you guys some spring eyeshadow palettes if you guys want, but I wanted to showcase my singles because sometimes making your own palette with your own singles is a lot more successful than buying a palette because you know you're going to use all the shades because you catered it to yourself, to your needs, and to your wants. So pull out your single shadows. I want to share more single shadows with you guys throughout the month. They have been very neglected and it makes perfect sense since we all are physically distancing ourselves and we're all having to be on our own. Let's pull out these singles that have been missing out on being loved on my channel at least. So thank you guys so much for watching. I will link these down below if any of these are still available. I think for the most part, about 90% of these are still available. So I'll link them down in the description box if you are interested in checking any of these brands out. Thank you again for all of your support. Stay safe, you guys. I'll put more videos right over here for your enjoyment. Until then, bye guys.